The MCB continues its proud tradition of excellence by providing movement control operations in order to ensure the uninterrupted movement of sustainment and forces worldwide in support of unified land operations. Unseat colors. At this time, the 446 Battalion Commander, Lieutenant Colonel Neil M. Magoo, and his Battalion Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Chad Reinhardt, will case the battalion colors of the 446 Movement Control Battalion, while the Headquarters and Headquarters Detachment Commander, First Lieutenant Philip J. Savitek, and First Sergeant Rodney T. Jones, case an HHD guide on signifying the completion of the mission and initiating the transfer of authority to the 436 Movement Control Battalion. The 446 Movement Control Battalion distinguished themselves during the period of 28 November 2022 through 19 August 2023 through extraordinary leadership and resiliency and support of the European Deterrence Initiative. Center, face, forward, forward. Okay, rest. On, October, on 15 October 1961, President John F. Kennedy ordered the 436 Transportation Battalion into active military service at Butler, Pennsylvania in response to the Berlin Crisis. Unit closed on Fort Riley, Kansas on 25 October 1961. At this time, the incoming battalion commander, Lieutenant Colonel Eric Wage, and his command sergeant major, Command Sergeant Major Troy A. Hirschberger, are uncasing the colors of the 436 Movement Control Battalion, while Headquarters and Headquarters Detachment Commander, First Lieutenant Roy Garcia Flores, and the Detachment Sergeant, Staff Sergeant Brandon Vasquez, uncase the HHD guide on signifying that the transfer of authority from the 446 Movement Control Battalion is complete and they have assumed responsibility for the mission. The 436 Movement Control Battalion stands strong and ready to perform its mission in support of the European Deterrence Initiative. Ladies and gentlemen, the Brigade Commander of the 3rd Infantry Division Sustainment Brigade, Colonel Jennifer McDonough. Uh, thank you for your attendance at this afternoon's transfer of authority. I am Colonel Jen McDonough, and I'm a proud dog Bay soldier. First, I'd like to express our collective gratitude to Lieutenant Colonel Magoo, Command Sergeant Major Reinhardt, and the soldiers of Task Force Rudder for their hard work over the last eight months to train and build interoperability with allies and partners and deter aggression in Eastern Europe. Through this deployment, Task Force Rudder coordinated and enabled ground movements for all units within AO Victory. Through 13 total countries, from Scandinavia to Greece, they provided critical support to five major multinational exercises to include Rip and Shock, Combined Resolve, Saber Guardian, Swift Response, and Resolute Castle. Those exercises are the bedrock of readiness and responsiveness required for a uni unified alliance, stronger together. This team also worked diligently to improve the mobility enterprise, not just within this AO, but within all of Europe, realigning the movement control regions to better support rotational units movements while simultaneously providing direct support to the security assistance group, Ukraine. That support included the transfer of over 39 million pounds and $600 million worth of material to Ukraine. We are so grateful for your successes and our ability to succeed now is largely because of you. Um, so almost two years ago, we were put in a position to, uh, to rethink how we see ourselves, uh, how we see our partners and how we see our competitors and adversaries on the European continent. 
That reexamination led to the most significant reorganization since the Cold War and included aligning critical sustainment assets under a newly fostered Fifth Corps. The 446 Movement Control Battalion led that change. We are an Army Reserve Battalion headquarters stationed in Europe with deep ties, both professional and personal, to the foreign land upon which we work and fight and the nation that we proudly serve. And I am very proud of this team. Uh, over the course of the last year, they have fundamentally changed how we conceptualize movement control and transportation on the European continent. They have faced conflict and, advert and, and adversity with poise and professionalism. And it has been my great honor to lead and serve with them. I spent the last few weeks getting to know another amazing Army Reserve organization, and I am grateful for and confident that the 436, MCV, and Team Empire are ready to continue moving us forward. Eric, I appreciate your friendship and collaboration over the last few weeks, and I wish you and your team nothing but the best. Team Rudder, keep them moving. Empire, take the helm. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of the 436 Movement Control Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Eric, Lieutenant Colonel Eric Wage. Good afternoon, 3rd DSB, 3rd DSB Command Team, NEO partners, as well as uh, <clears throat> POLOS partners. The 436 Movement Control Battalion is looking forward to the next nine months working here and uh, working for you, ma'am, Sergeant Major in support of this incredibly important mission that we have going on here. Uh, I wanted to thank uh, Lieutenant Colonel McCoo and CSM Reinhardt for the great training opportunities that the 446 has provided to us uh, at Fort Cavazos as well as here. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you all. God bless and track the move.